Hey guys, what's up, man? So right now, uh, I'm gonna show you some tools that we're about to use to create a RAM intake air on this 2016 Durango. So right here, if you see the uh, fog light right here, basically we'll be creating one of these right here next to our active cruise control, and the air will be sucked in through here. I'll show you the pipe, meaning you can take it up all the way, and I'm gonna pump it into the bottom of the intake box right here and we'll show you where that's gonna be be about right there and that's where the uh inlet tube will come in so let's go over the tools you're gonna need real quick to get this job done you just need a quick little socket and some or a uh, little ratchet and some sockets to get the air intake off right here this is going to be the intake tube and then right here is a whole saw set. This is three inch, so I've got a three inch in there. Some gloves, a flashlight with a magnetic just in case you drop something. A little electric saw rotary kit for the uh, Dremel. Safety goggles and your drill. About all you're gonna need, the reason why you need this is because you gotta cut off a piece right here that's behind this grill. I will show it to you guys when we uh, get that done. So let's see if you can actually see it here. Yeah, so there's a little black piece right there. We're going to cut that off so we can actually get the tube there. This is the piece I was talking about. You have to get off and uh, cut this part out right here. I'll show you where it came from. Go ahead and crawl underneath. And okay, so you'll see it goes, part goes, it'll sit right here. You have um, points right here along the front bottom bumper grill that'll connect into it. Then you'll have these clips. And this is kind of where it secures onto the, the bottom of the radiator. So that's the part you gotta take off, super easy. Just take the clips off here, take out the push pins, and then just slide it right on out. That's all you gotta do. Alright guys, there it is. It's done. It's off. So you see over on this side, I just took my uh, blueprint marker and make my cut line. And I pretty much made it flush right here at the seam uh, where it intersected. And I came over here with my Dremel and my saw. Cut it right off. So you can see, I drilled the hole in the uh, heat shield and put the tube in there. And that's what it looks like at the bottom. So... All we gotta do now is put this thing back in and uh, start drilling the hole at the bottom. The uh, heat shield's back in, and you can see there's the hole right there. And now all we gotta do is go down here and put our hole about right there. It's all done. Uh, the only thing we have to do is you see, uh, put back in the intake cone uh, the intake filter and stuff like that so not bad turned out real good and let's uh, go ahead and walk you through it real quick right now so you'll see like i said as shown before pretty much standard here's the heat shield it's in you can see the hole down there everything's all pretty pretty tight but there's room for it to make it fit i'm not sure if you can see but you'll see the tube come down over here let's go ahead and jack this thing up got it all jacked up so right here you'll see there's the front inlet right there three inches uh, that's the inside diameter outside diameter is a little bit bigger and now you'll see right there coming in straight to the front bumper grill lower grill right here it comes in between the cross member and the frame right there. Touches and goes in right through by the, the radiator. I'm hoping that doesn't get hot and melt it. Time will tell. I'll check it out after my first drive. And then that's just where it pipes up right there. And it goes all the way right there to the bottom of the box. That's the bottom of the box right there. So, so overall, pretty awesome. I really think it's going to bring the intake temps down. 
Um, tomorrow I'll probably get out there and drive around, maybe Monday. Um, get out there, drive around, see what the intake temps look like. Pretty excited. So uh, give me about a week or so, and I should have some good data if this really works out. Uh, all in all, it was only 20 bucks, and I showed you guys the tools that you need. Um, one tool I do recommend, opposed to going with the hole saw bit right here um, for the lower grill is some tin snips. Uh, I got a, a little rough down there, but um, go ahead and put on your circle, give it a permanent marker, and outline it, and then just take the tin snips and cut it, and it's, it's so much easier, so much cleaner uh, than taking the whole saw to it. Um, cause if you don't get it right on the first time with the whole saw, you might have a bunch of rough marks on your lower bottom grill part. So, um, that's a, that are super less than desirable. That's it, man. That's all I got. Check you later.